Good morning, everyone. So good to have you here for your workout. Let us start in the child's pose. So taking those knees nice and wide, nestling those hips towards the heels. Feel your fingertips reach nice and long in front. Forehead may or may not come down. You can offer a little sway to the hips, maybe a little turn of the forehead from side to side, just starting to tap in to see how you feel through the outer hips, lower back, and your breathing. Oh yeah. We'll find our way into a tabletop position. Good morning, and take some rounds of cat-cow. So as you breathe in, you'll drop your belly towards your mat. As you breathe out, your upper back domed towards the ceiling and just rinse through that a few rounds just to see how you're feeling through the spine. Again, that linking of your breath to the movement. And then we'll offer up some circles here, coming nice and forward so you get a little weight bearing in the hands, opening up through the shoulders a little and certainly getting that nice outer hip stretch. And then take it in the opposite direction Fantastic. We'll find our way onto our backs, drawing those knees in towards our chest. Give yourself a little hug here. And again, you can offer up some circles through the knees without having them grounded. See, maybe splitting the knees from one another, one way and then the other way. Send your arms and legs up towards the ceiling, give them a little shake, maybe a little rinse through the ankle joint, wrist joint. We'll take the feet down on our mat. Hips just actually, we'll go nice and wide first just to roll across the glutes as we take them from so, the knees from side to side. That's, that's the money shot right there, Sav. Thanks for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring our feet parallel to one another, hips distance apart. Feel the tailbone lengthen here. There's a little engagement through the belly, but as we start to get into our hip lifts, let's press into the feet and send those hips high and then lower to a hover. Squeezing at the top of your lift and then finding a little drop through the hips. <laughs> it is distracting, I'm sorry. All right, focusing here. Exhale at the top and lower to a hover. Yeah, everyone's got their cameras right there it does feel like a saturday morning good morning <laughs> squeeze and lower keep this pace going use your breath at the top of the lift to recruit through the abs <laughs> and exhale and then lower nice work everyone we'll take these slow pace for five four three two, one. Hips are going to stay lifted. All we're going to do is lift and lower the heels. So you're finding that squeezing at the top and simply adding those heel drops. Walk your feet in a little if that's going to give you some more height through the hips. Yeah, that's it. Nice work, you guys. Squeezing the whole time without squeezing through the jaw, through the face. Relaxing a little through the shoulders. And that exhale, recruiting the abs. You've got it. That's it, Amanda. We'll lift and lower those heels. We'll go for another five, four, three, two, one. Find the maximum height on both tippy toes and pulse from here. So the idea is in this little uh, segment, we're just squeezing the whole time and not releasing those glutes at all. So you really feel the work that needs to happen. And of course, we're going for that nice sensation of lighting up the back body. Yeah, looks good. That's it, Nancy, keep going. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Again, soften through your face. Feel the work isolating towards those glutes, hamstrings, everything is working. Yeah, Dougal, you got it. And we'll pulse these out for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Give yourself that nice little hug. Rocking from side to side, maybe circling through the ankles a little. Dare I say it, but we're going wide-legged. 
Turn those toes out, heels are in. <laughs> Feel that length through the tailbone here. Slow pace to begin with. Focusing on that lift and squeezing of those outer hips. So we're targeting more of the glute knee. Those inner thighs get recruited as well. And strong through that exhale. Yeah, Hamish, nice. Slow pace to feel that grounding through the feet and that nice engagement through the back body to get that lift. Hi, Philly. <laughs> I'm so glad you changed the camera towards you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Squeeze and lower. Soften through the face, guys. Looks so good. You got it, Nicole. We'll take these for five, four, three, two, one. Let's walk out our wide legged. So alternate which heel lifts and lowers. Keeping the height through the hips. Yeah, Ronnie, you got it. Lengthen through the tail. Fire up those glutes and just take your wide-legged for a little bit of a walk this morning. That's it. Nice, Henry. Keep going. How's that breath working for you? Oh, yeah. Nice and high on those tippy toes. Don't deny yourself the lift through those heels. We'll walk it out. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Adjust your feet a little closer towards your torso. Both heels are lifted, so super high on those tippy toes. And again, very little drop through the hips. Double time your pace. And let's blast out this last set. Yes, Philly, you got it. Like you're wearing really high heels, super high, so your legs have nothing other to do than to contract. Yes, yeah, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Fantastic. Last little blast here in this shape through the legs, so make it count. Keep going, keep going. That's it, Jeannie, you got it. Soften through your face here. Wow, it's really starting to light up. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower it down. Give yourself that much needed break. Hug it in. Maybe a little tap of those glutes just to release. Finishing up our glute work with our butterfly bridges. Slow pace to begin with. Feet are together, knees are winging out. Find that distance from your torso. And slow pace to begin here. Squeeze at the top and then lower to a hover. So nice and controlled as your glutes adjust to this shape through the legs. See what's really firing to lift as high as you can. Certainly not as high when the legs are in this shape. Yeah, Hamish, nice. Take your time here, lengthen through your tail. Use that exhale. That's it, Philly, you got it. Squeeze and hover. Settle into the slow pace. You may feel the adductors a little more in this shape through the legs. We'll finish up these slow pace butterfly bridges. Let's go for another five. Four, three, two, one. You know it, we're pulsing it out here. So find your lift, and then again, just think lift, lift, lift the whole time rather than dropping. So everything is squeezing. Yeah, Dougal, you got it. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Both hips points are even. Oh yeah, everything should be getting Lots of warmth through the back body. Keep going, guys. Last little task in our glute work. And we'll finish these. We'll go for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower it down. Hug your knees in towards the chest. Rock from side to side. So good.
Ooh, yeah. Alrighty, so we are moving on to our core work and starting with our planks. So working that tubular core as we turn on our mats for our plank work. We're going to start on our right side forearm to begin with. You can also come up to your right hand if you like. You decide how it feels through the shoulder. We're going to be stationary for the first 30 seconds, and then we're going to pulse that top leg. You can always come down to that right knee if that's going to give you a little support. But here we go. Send your left arm nice and high. Heels, hips, and shoulders are all in one line. And avoid collapsing in that right shoulder. You can actually just feel the difference when you press into that forearm, you get that distance from your ear to your shoulder. All supported by that strong right side oblique work. Yeah, that looks awesome, you guys. Nice, Nancy, you got it. Stay with your breath here. And we're at the halfway mark, so I'd like to take away that left foot support and add a little pulsing through that top left leg. See how you go. If it's too much and you're collapsing in the shoulder, you can also come down to that right knee for support. Ooh, but we're getting a little outer hip work. Yeah, Jeannie, so strong. Show Ronnie how it's done. I love it. Try to avoid collapsing in that right shoulder. Stay with it, guys. Oh my goodness. Last three, two, one. Come on down. We'll come onto our bellies for some back extension work. So we're just gonna do a little parachuting here. So we're gonna lift, arms and elbows are out, and then lower to a hover. Here we go. So sending the legs away from the mat, the chest away from the mat, and then you lower to a hover with control, firming up through those back muscles. Use your breath to help lift, and then slowly lower as you exhale. No need to rush these, really focusing on the extensor work. Last three, two, one. Let's take a child's pose to rinse through that. Sending those hips towards the heels, lengthen through the sides of the waist, breathe into the backs of the lungs. Let's set up for our 90 second forearm plank hold. So you decide when you need knee support down. Otherwise, see how we go. We are on the clock. Settle into your alignment here. Let it be the support you need to hold this forearm plank. Feel those heels press away. Nice little stretch through the calves. But that's gonna fire up your quads as you draw your hips towards your floating ribs. So super solid. Soften through your jaw, press into your forearms, no collapsing through the shoulder. And let that breath just sustain this work. Yeah, nice. Check in with how your legs are helping support this belly work. We're halfway through. Yeah, that's it, Anna, you got it. Checking that your hips aren't sagging or too high. Recommit to those heels pressing away. Stay with your breath. Last 15 seconds, we've got it. <laughs> That's so nice though. <laughs> She's a good distraction from the work, I love it. <laughs> and we're finishing up in three, in two, in one. Yay, come on down. You can take another child's pose, but we'll do those extensors for 30 seconds. Again, we'll just do our little parachute floating up and down, really focusing on the lift and that slow controlled lower. Thighs are getting some space from the mat. Chest is getting a lift away from your mat. And that control is really just working those muscles that help support that spine. Yeah, fantastic, that's it. You got it, Amanda. Last three, two, one. Again, take that child's pose, 
Give yourself a little release through the lower back. Finishing up our plank work on our left forearm or our left hand. And then we add that upper leg for the pulsing at the halfway mark. Let's begin with that right foot though, stacking in front of the left. Heels, hips, and shoulders in a line. And a lot of space from that left waist from your mat. Come on up, Hamish. We are on the clock. You got it. Really nice reaching, everyone. Check in with that distance from your ear to your left shoulder. Yeah, do a little nice. And here we go. We're offering up that top leg lifting. If it's too much, come on down to that left knee. See how you go. But targeting that outer right hip with our side plank work. Oh yeah, so strong. Stacking those arms vertically. Ah. Hello, left side, please. Last three, two, one. Yowza, come on down. Maybe a little shoulder roll just to release through that. We are moving on to our ab work, guys. So the first two rounds are gonna be the same and then I'll change them up the second two rounds. That equals four rounds. 20 and 10 for our work this morning. Our first two rounds are gonna be straight up bicycles. Then we're gonna take a little oblique work with our jack knives, getting a nice little side crunch. And then we finish those first two rounds with X's and O's. So your X can be this and your O can be this. Or your X can be, oh my God, I haven't done these in a while, X. Or full body sit up for your O. You decide how you want to take them. Let us get our timer going. Again, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, guys. First one is straight up bicycles. Getting those obliques switched on quite early. Three, two, one. Here we go. So pulsing those legs in and out, pinning your lower back towards the mat. And the upper body goes from knee to opposite knee. You're not pulling your head, but light support with those fingertips. Three, two, one. Change. You're gonna come onto your right side forearm. Your legs are gonna be at a V shape. And it's a little bit of a side crunch as you draw the knees towards that left elbow. Yeah, nice work, you guys. So you can see that cinching of your left side waist helping draw those legs in towards that left elbow. Three, two, one. Change. We're gonna swap out the sides. Three, two, one. Here we go. So that side crunch, those knees draw together so they're a nice little package to lift towards that right elbow. Yeah, Nicole, you got it. Use that exhale. See that right side waist contracting. Three, two, one. Change. So just to review, you can do a lowercase x. Legs come out to a V. And here's your O. Or you can take the full sit up. And oh my god up to your sitting bones. That exhale is really going to help you lift. Yeah, that's it. Take it at your own pace. Nice work. Slow down the descent. Just one more round of those and then I'll introduce the next set that we're doing for the following two. But start back up with our bicycles, guys. Here we go. Yeah, again, shooting those legs up. If you're feeling any sort of tug through the lower back, maybe they need to come a little higher. You got it, Sab, keep going. Three, two, one, change. Come on down to the back of that right arm, legs are at a V shape, and a side crunch, getting that left side oblique. Here we go. 
See if you can pin those knees together, maybe. Yeah, that's it. You got it, Henry. Take it easy on the shoulder. Use your exhale. Fantastic, Phil. You got it. Nice work. Three, two, one. Change. Let's find that left side down. Drawing those knees towards the chest. Here we go. You could make this a little more challenging and straighten those legs if you wanted. You decide. Hmm, should have done that on the other side. Or you can alternate. Yeah, keep going. Three, two, one. Change. X's and O's. Let's get these to work. <laughs> Three, two, one. Here we go. So strong through your center to get that lift. Maybe a little energy through those pointed toes to get those legs up. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Change. Thank God. Straight leg bicycles for this first one. We're just taking the same thing but amplifying it a little with straight leg bicycles. You got it, Jeannie. Don't think about it. Just do it. <laughs> Scissoring through those legs. Pin the lower back towards the mat again. Yeah. Three, two, one. We're carrying on with our oblique crunch. Knees are bent, drop them over to the right. And we're getting a little side crunch here to carry on with that oblique work. Here we go. So try and bring those knees over to the right and crunch. You can actually see your left side waist really working here. Nice work. Three, two, one, change. Swap the legs now, dropping them both to the left, bent at the knees. Right side oblique targeted. Here we go. The challenge is to not pull your head up. Maybe the challenge is to see if you can get that left shoulder blade to lift up off the mat. Oh yeah, that's a toughie. You got it, Nicole. Nice. Three, two, one. Change. And we finish this second, third round, sorry, with a full body sit up. Maybe you tap the toes, maybe not. Slow, lower. Here we go. I'm keeping my legs straight. If that's too hard for some of you, maybe you bend up through the knees. You play it out how it feels best through your body. Yes, yeah, so good, you guys. Slow, control, lower. Change. Straight leg bikes, and then we're finishing up our fourth round. Three, two, one. 20 seconds to take it at your own pace. Maybe slow it down. Yeah, that's it, Ronnie. Keep going. Again, opposite shoulder blade, maybe getting a little lift and twist. Three, two, one. Change. <laughs> Knees are dropping together to the right side of your mat. You're getting that left side oblique crunch. Stay with that strong exhale. Hamish, you're making it very challenging. I love it. Way to amplify. I'm sure having the dog there too is really challenging. <laughs> Three, two, one. Change. Let's take those knees, drop them to the left, and crunch through our right side waist. Change. Just tap into the side body work, guys. Try not to wrench your head up. Light support of those fingers behind the head. Yes, you got it, Phil. Three, two, one. Change. Last dedicated ab work is a full body sit up, lengthen through the legs. Three, two, one. Here we go. So 
So the exhale bringing you up, the inhale allowing that slow descent, lots of control here. Fantastic. Great pacing everyone, I love it. Change. Well done on the abs everyone, I love it. I'll walk us through our first set of squats and upper body and changing it each round and then we'll do all four again. We're gonna bring our hands to our shoulders and it's simply a squat, sidestep, squat, sidestep. So just really bring your legs towards one another, take your squat, pretty basic to begin with for the first squats. T press ups are gonna be our upper body work. Feel free to drop to your knees, but we're making a capital T through the arms, the heels swivel down. We take the press up through the center and then we swivel the heels and lift the opposite arm. We'll come to the left side of our mat. We're gonna take a wide, soft landing side squat and then knee to chest. There's the balance and that slow controlled descent in our squat. And then of course, mountain climbers for the first round. So let's get right into the work guys. We're coming through a squat and then the legs come together. So pretty basic. It's gonna to start to build a little heat. Take these at pace, because then you'll find you get a little more work going. So squat through the center, legs together. Arms on the shoulders, just to give you a little more lift through the chest, containment through the belly, and dropping through the tail. Yeah. You can go wide or as narrow as you like through those squats, whatever feels good for the knees. Change. Capital T press-ups. You can also avoid the press up and just do the plank work. Or you can do straight up press ups, whatever works for you. So swapping out where the balance lies in that one hand. There's a lot of core work to support that lift. Yes, yeah, so strong. You gotta do the nice. Change. Our balance again, coming to the left side of your mat. Wide step to the right, and then knee to chest. There we go. So as you land in your side squat, make sure those toes and knees are tracking. Yeah, fantastic. Feel those adductors working for you. Love it. Keep going. Great depth on that right side. Change. Let's go for that cardio blast and we'll get our mountain climbers going. Opposite knee to opposite elbow. Here we go. So shoulders are over those wrists, and you're so strong through your belly, you're barely tapping back behind you. Yeah, nice pacing. Three, two, one, change. So for this, side of squats, we're gonna isolate that left leg and step to the right, come back through your center squat. Step wide to the right, just keep going. Breathe. Hmm. I thought I'd leave you guys with a lot of squats today. <laughs> so good. So those right toes have to turn out as you step wide. Nice work this upper body work. We're coming into a hovering tabletop. Knees are tapping behind the wrists. You walk back to a plank. You take your press up. Come back to your bear. Tap your knees. And then add the plank and take the press up. A lot of belly work in our upper body work for this round. Change. Find yourselves on the right side of your mat, stepping long with the left leg, and then left knee to chest. Here we go. Can you slow down the landing? Can you find that inner thigh strength to lift you up to vertical on that right side leg? Yeah, fantastic. That's it. Three, two, one. Change. 
wide-legged burpees. So alternating our cardio blasts, take these to the level that you want, jump them back, jump them front, jump at the top, or walk them back for low impact, working at a pace that's gonna give you that lift to your heart rate. So good, Billy, that's awesome. Keep going. You got it, Nicole, you know you love these. Woo! Change. We're taking our squat, isolating through that right leg, Come back through center and then stepping left. Here we go. So as you turn, notice if you're backing off one side of the squat. Commit to that equal leg work. Use your breath. So good. <clears throat> Don't hate me, but these are belly down press ups. Oh, oh, oh. Starting from your belly, add the press up, come down to your belly. Release through the hands, release through the legs. Take a reverse press up, come on back down. Oh yeah. Strong through the legs, guys. Certainly strong through the core. Try not to add too much wave through the spine. Damn, those are hard. We're taking our balance work linearly and little pendulum swings through the right leg. So arms come up, right leg comes up, then tip forward, right leg comes back. So strong and balanced through that left side leg. Draw up through the left quad. Connect to your breath. Yeah, that's it, Amanda, great focus. Change. We're back to mountain climbers for our cardio hit. Catch your breath in your plank. Three, two, one, here we go. What kind of energy can you bring as you drive those knees to opposite elbows? Yeah, Ronnie, go for it. Keep going, guys, so good. Three, two, one. Change. This last round of squats is a heel click squat. So we're going side to side again. We're just lifting up on tippy toes and clicking our heels. So a little balance challenge as you lift up and find those heels tapping. But don't forget the depth through that squat. Yeah, Hamish, nice. Three, two, one. Change. Inchworm press ups. We pad to a plank, we take the press up, we walk back, we stand. Here we go. So walk it on out. Take your press up, come to your knees if you like, or just to a plank, and come on back up. So lots of control as you pad yourself forward. Strength through the upper body, connection to your belly. Nice work. We'll ground down through that right leg. Lift the left leg forward and back for our pendulum swing. Here we go. So crossing through without bringing that left foot down. There's the balance challenge. Don't be too consumed with how high the leg goes, but just stay contained through the center so you're not pulling through the lower back. Yeah, great balance. Change. This round, wide-legged burpees. We got it. Now Sav is totally out of the shot. Is he there? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> he went to go put some clothes on. Okay. Yeah, nice light landings, everyone. Forwards and backwards without hurling your limbs through space. Yeah, Dougal, so good. Keep going. Change. Back to the top with those. Hands on the shoulders. We're taking our squats. Oh, Steve wants a rest. Hold on. I'm reading the room here. You Literally. Steve wants a rest. I was ready to go right for the four. You guys take a little sip of water. Okay. You ready, Grandpa? Everyone's ready to go. 
Back to the top, guys, we're doing those squats where you just bring your feet together. So it's like heel click squats, but a lower version where you ground through the heels. When I press the button, it's going to go right to the top, right at the start. You ready? All right. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. So good, you guys. We're on the clock. Find the depth through those legs. Taking it from side to side. Yes, that's it, Phil. You got it. Three, two, one. Change. T press ups. Capital T through the arms as you swivel the heels down side to side. Here we go. Adding the press up where you like. Strength through those legs. Yeah, I love it, guys. Change. We'll find that balance work. Again, it's that side work that we're doing as we come to the left side of our mat. Stepping wide with the right leg, knee to chest. So float into your landing and then pivoting off that right leg to find that vertical stacking through the left side of your body. Yeah, that's it. Nice, Amanda. Light landing on that right foot. Change. Mountain climbers, let's get after these. Catch your breath in your plank. And let's go for it. Driving those knees. Hips aren't too high. Yeah. So strong through the belly. Yes, Annie, you got it. Power it up. Three, two, one. Change. Squat work is isolating that left leg work as we step wide to the right. Come back through center each time. Here we go. So turning toes out to match the direction of the knees. Depth through each squat. Especially that side turned one. Yeah. That's it. You got it, Philly. Change. So bare hovering knees and then tap behind the wrists. Walk back to a plank. Add the press up. Avoid those knees lifting too high. They are skimming the mat. So be conscious of where your spine is. Keep it vertical, or sorry, horizontal. Ooh. Change. We'll come to the right side of our mat, stepping wide with the left leg, left knee to chest. Oh yeah. Get that depth in the squat, and then almost like you're floating to a stand. That's where the transition, that smoothness comes in. Keep going. Three, two, one, change. Another round of wide-legged burpees to get that heart rate up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Then that soft landing to really be aware of how your core is activating. Yes, Philly. So strong. Nice light landings. Mm. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was Steve. Okay, we're stepping to the left now in our squats. So take that depth each time. Fire up through those legs. That's it, Dougal. You got it. So good. Three, two, one. Change. Belly down press ups. Lift those hands, lift those feet, and then take your reverse press up. Lower back down fully to the mat. Resist gravity. Wow. You don't have to get a lot of these in, 
but work intelligently. So strong through the legs so that you're not making that wave through the spine. All right, we're coming into the balance now in a linear fashion. Pendulum swings, left leg grounding, right leg swings. Maybe slow down the breath here and find your focus. Transitioning forwards and backwards, supported by that strong belly. So good. Change. Nice one, guys. Mountain climbers, come on down. Here we go. Jog it on out, guys. This is your last set of mountain climbers, so get that pace on. So light through the toes. Those knees are driving like pistons. Just go for it. Yes, Phil, you got it. Change. Last round, guys. Heel click squats to finish out our last set of squats. Coming to those tippy toes as you transition. Yes, that's it, Amanda. Nice. Love it with the weights. So good. And he's back. Yeah, keep going. That's it, Sav. Change. Inchworm press ups for our body work, or upper body work, I should say. <coughs> Three. Two, one, here we go. Add the press up where you like. Nice and controlled through the travel. Yeah, that's it, Hamish, nice. Three, two, one, change. We'll take that balance with the left leg now, forward and backwards. Strong through the belly. Lifting up out of that right side quad to protect the hamstring as you pour the weight forward. Yeah, that's it, Nicole. Nice and smooth. Three, two, one. Change. Final, final. Wide legged burpees. Let's go for it, guys. Three. Two, one, go. Go, Ronnie. Yeah, so good. That's it, Annie. So fast. I love it, guys. Woohoo! Team Savile showing up. So good. Keep going. Yeah, nice, Henry. Change. That was fantastic. Really hard work this morning. I love it. Good job.